Billy, welcome to Bolton Wanderers. How pleased are you to have the opportunity? Oh, over the moon, obviously. It came around pretty pretty fast for me, as in, I'm meant to be back in on the 3rd of August next week with Fleetwood, but the agent ran me that two or three days ago and said, Bolton interested, do you want to go and um, play? And I said, I can't turn down a club of this magnitude. It's, it's a Premier League club, isn't it? Size of the club. So at my age, I was taken back by it and can't wait to come here and play. Yeah, it's an opportunity for you to play regular football. Is that the aim for yourself to come here and establish yourself as a first choice keeper? That's 100% the aim. I want to come here, I want to play, I want to impress. I want to take it from there and yeah, enjoy playing football and play games, most importantly, and get to club where it belongs. It's definitely not in league two. At 20 years old, do you feel like you're at a point in your career where you need to be playing regular football to continue your development? Yeah, this, this is the season where I need to kick on now. I've had two or three seasons where I've now gone to the league, played men's football, had a taste of league one, I did a couple last year. And then this is the season where now I need to um, kick on and progress my career. You've touched on it a little bit already, but how did the move come about when you heard about the interest? How keen you to get it done? Well, uh, I knew uh, end of the season I went to either kick on a fleet with all going on somewhere and then obviously tell the agent and that and then that. Two or three days ago it was just I don't know when the agent of MCI was interested in bowling. Are you willing to go and play? And I was just like, no brainer. Obviously, it's, club with this size of the fan base it is now at my age it's been a brilliant place for me to kick on so it was two or three days ago it came out. Head coach Gene Everett, have you had a chance to speak to him yet and if so what sort of things has he said to you? Uh, I've not had a chance to speak to him in person yet and but I've watched his interview on uh, what you, you lads did with him about him playing out from the back and playing where the way football is going now and that's right on my street we've obviously I've done that um, youth teams in England and that, that's what I did while I play now and that's for me that was a big turning point it wasn't where football's going so that was I was kind of happy with what you were saying that interview. You spoke about the magnitude of the club you're obviously a northwest lad so you know all about this football club what, what, what do you know about it already? Well obviously I when I was growing up it was you know playing with Kale and obviously Yeskalai I was a big fan of Yeskalai and I only found out last night but 527 times for club that's you can have a great lap someone like this when it was in the Premier League that just shows the size of the club and um, yeah it's just a uh, Obviously, I just grew up as being in a Premier League club. It's now it's in League Two. It's doesn't, not where it belongs, but they're here now, and it's the only way is getting back up the leagues. You've had a sort of handful of appearances for Fleetwood, but you played for Chorley just up the road in the National League yeah. last season. Do you feel like you're ready to sort of make that step up into the football league and play regularly in the football league? Yeah, that was um, Chorley was a big, uh, was a very good ball, big learning curve for me. As in um, that league is half, well, three or four part time most of. Full-time club, you could see it's all difference, and obviously Chorley was a part-time club. So me as a goalkeeper, that was a massive thing for me going out there. So I had a lot of work. I was always in the game. I was never having games where I wasn't involved in anything like that. So that was massive for me playing men's football. And obviously, I had, like I said, I had a taste of it last year. And then, yeah, this year it's this is the year to kick on. Imagine you're looking forward to joining up with the group and getting into pre-season training and getting into the games. Yeah, as in, um, obviously we had this lockdown and that, I had 12 weeks off. I came back for a month of Fleetwood for the playoffs. That was good now, but another three weeks off, I just can't wait to get going, meet the lads and just crack on. There's only four or five weeks now until the season starts and plenty of time and just, yeah, I want to start the season, getting back into the fall football, like some normality.